Yeah, there are showers out there today, folks. That one darkening the skies off to the west, as you can see, and causing a lot of rain over downtown Birmingham and surrounding areas. And that's the way it's going to be. There are classic pulse type thunderstorms that don't have a very long shelf life. They last about 20 to 30 minutes, can make it rain very hard for a brief period of time. Heat advisory remains in effect all counties except for one, Clay County. Don't get too excited. It's only because you're a couple degrees cooler there than the rest of the area is. Probably the heat advisory will eventually be expanded into your neck of the woods as well. Okay, here they are all over the place. Dotting the landscape, as you can see, the coverage overall is not that great. It is bigger than we saw yesterday, and yesterday's showers are just a little bit bigger. Everything is moving slowly from east to west, a little bit unusual, but that's the way it is today. Talladega County, one shower here on the Clay County line, further south too. A few in and around Anniston and Oxford. You're probably going to get some rain in most of those neighborhoods. And here's the heavy one we were looking at. It's probably the biggest one on radar right now from Birmingham on west to McDonald Chapel. That particular storm drifting to the west at the current time, making it very wet right over downtown and surrounding areas too. 18th Street North, currently it's raining like crazy. Bankhead Highway West too, same thing. 91 now in the Magic City, 92 Tuscaloosa, 93 at Coleman, 94 in Gadsden. The reality is with um, higher dew points today, higher humidities, the heat index is 98 in Birmingham, 104 in Gadsden, 103 Coleman, 106 in Tuscaloosa. So it's coming up, folks. Going to stay pretty high for the rest of the week too. Your 12 hour forecast, the best chance of rains in the next few hours pretty much could be anywhere within the area. Then overnight tonight, the chance goes away as things settle down. Here's my seven day forecast. Concentrate on the temperatures. 94 tomorrow, chance of an afternoon storm. 96 then Thursday and Friday, really hot. It's going to feel easy like 100 plus on Friday, probably more like 106 or 7. Storms become likely Saturday. Best chance of rain is then, and we settle down just a bit after that time, and we lose a couple degrees all the way down to 90 for a high next Monday.